Hi guys, today I will show you the internal mo uh, parts of the military radio module, modules. So here is the main uh, wire harness I did remove from the front panel. What really is the meaning of it? You can see here the main power switch with uh, made in uh, USS written on it. It is written on the relay we saw here. So this is pretty much cra crap, but I will probably save the relays. With the turns, I have a urge uh, stock already. So. Then this is the one of the uh, air capacitors. You can see I didn't remove the metal plates. So in this part here, there is a coil, it seems. With, uh, yes, nothing else in it. So the funny thing is that when you push the button, it turns the other side. So yeah, here you have one more relay. So this module here is the main Excuse me for the lightning, it is uh, quite bad today. Too much uh, sun outside. So this is uh, the main uh, variable capacitor. Gang. With uh, all the high frequency uh, parts here, coils. Uh, more uh, variable capacitors here for uh, fine uh, tuning. And on the sides, you have uh, some uh, vacuum tubes, the mi miniature ones, with uh, leads directly soldered to the board. So you can see there are no PCBs, they are uh, some kind of uh, phenolic or bakelite boards with uh, solder pots on it, but no no real PCB track. So here you have two small uh, micro switches at the end of the the shaft. Other side, more tubes, same kind. So the main uh, module with all the brains. I should say on the radio. So there is another main module. In fact, so here you have a lot of uh, sets of uh, uh, tubes with uh, coils, completely sealed uh, coils, tubes. One uh, quartz here, just a oscillator here. So this is a variable uh, capacitor here. So you can see it is a diecast module completely made uh, from uh, uh, an aluminium block. Quite impressive. So the other uh, complicated part is uh, this uh, electronic block. We have a series of transistors here. Dead bug mounted on the other side. Here are some uh, uh, transformers, RF transformers, relays. Not sure if you can see, it is funny. You have some uh, fluoro fluorescent uh, spots here. They did apply some paint on the solder joints, then they, they did put the heat shrink tubing, and it did flow through the heat sink. Heat shrink. It occurs quite often. One more uh, crystal oscillator here. One more tube here, so you can see it is in quite bad condition. I did uh, take apart one of these other of these radios earlier and uh, a few m bunch of years ago, and uh, the, the modules were in much better condition. So this is funny. It seems to be some uh, and uh, graffiti or something like this, made with a pen. Yeah, also, don't know what it is. Okay, for this one. Then 
the main uh, I think uh, power converter unit you can see uh, these are uh, diodes probably German aluminium diodes small um, green uh, capacitors two transistors here P210A made in uh, 1970 this, this one here you have uh, relay and uh, some uh, sealed and, uh, oil paper capacitors very good uh, ones the transistor here is from uh, 1968 very very old you can see the nice uh, logo on it and the factor logo model number ok then uh, we are almost done this is just a bunch of uh, diodes and a small uh, board and it is uh, the part which was just behind the power switch on the front plate you have caps, you have a small uh, toroidal tr transformer it seems you have uh, lots of relays 1, 2, 3, 4, this also is a relay then uh, one more uh, paper oil capacitor one uh, toroidal air transformer one uh, transistor air and one uh, cap here it is moldy this one the paper uh, wrapping around the cap is moldy and you can see all the unmade uh, wiring so I think it is on, maybe I can still show you yes so this uh, part is not opened yet because it is completely sealed and it will re require some uh, brute force to open it then this is, I did start to take it apart the frequency uh, memory uh, mechanism you can see there is a uh, locking uh, things when you turn the screw here it locks this uh, some kind of brake mechanism it is here it will lock the the disc here to lock it in, in position and this is repeated four times for the four uh, available frequencies you can set so it is very very uh, dirty and I'm taking it apart a little at a time quite interesting to see what it is made when you know it is copied from uh, German uh, World War II uh, technology ok so it is all for uh, this radio it is now gone I will go slowly through these uh, modules to take them apart because anyway we are they are in too bad condition to be really worth uh, keeping so I uh, will take them apart and uh, grab uh, the most uh, possible uh, parts from it but so thanks for watching and see you soon bye bye